Okay, so on this video I'm going to show you how to um, focus and um, get background blur with any digital camera um, and it doesn't have to be a DSLR like um, most you would, you would use on these type of things. So I've put already up a picture here of um, this photograph with the, the DJ holding the microphone and right the background that's just uh, your normal I'll just put this you just your normal background there's nothing being done on this um, another one that's uh, that I did on this this is actually Zona 15 Pro so I've put this and now you can see uh, by using tilt and shift there's loads of back background blur and uh, you can see that there and it's just really the middle bit where it's it's very clear and so the thing with this is that you see on, on most of these programs uh, like Zona, um, like Photoscape as well and like Photoshop and they all have this in the middle it's clear where it uh, gives this type of tilt and shift thing uh, where the background's all blurred out if we just go in there a little bit and you see that and down there it's all blurred but really what we need to uh, have is something where there's just part of it blurred so just this chap's face or these two and the rest blurred like you would in a normal camera uh, but of course a lot of people can't afford a DSLR they're not really into photography that much but there is a way around this and it is by using something called photo um, uh, graphics package and this is where it is it's photo.com and here we have uh, the home platforms features etc etc and what we need to do you can actually there's one or two things you can do um, online but what we or what I do anyway is go into platforms get what you want if you've got an iPhone or an Android or Windows 8 Mac or Windows and I use the uh, the Windows one but I've already downloaded that so um, I'll show you how I would do this so when you've actually installed this this is what you get and then you just say yes to run and look, the computer was going to go down there's not much charge in there so you go to edit and this is what you see and when it says click here to start and we'll go to where my um, original photo was which is this one here and again as you'll see on there no there's no blur really at all but on this package and this is the best um, one I've actually seen to do the tilt and shift and uh, it's quite a simple thing to use and it keeps getting better this program uh, and, and it can do most things that uh, probably many people would need um, so here we go down on the on the home page here down to tilt and shift and what this does it mimics uh, a, a digital camera a DSLR and this one here so you get that there and usually I fear it is it's usually used for landscapes and that type of thing but if you use this f2 or f1.4 we see a great blur on there so we're only seeing really we're focusing in on that chap and around everywhere else if we go in there's all this the background everywhere you don't see this middle bit um, where you usually do on the on other programs you don't see the middle bit just clear on this this really mimics uh, a DSLR and, and many ways and this is the best program for tilt and shift I've ever come across and I've used loads of them and uh, just put that there f1.4 and all you do is you uh, save as and save as wherever you want um, just say blurred blurred focus and then you just save your photo to the desktop or wherever you want when your digital things and uh, that's what it looks like so you get an exact focus of uh, how a DSLR would use it so I hope that's uh, helpful and uh, thanks for watching